right, this is Henry again, and it's time for another I Got a Package Today video. And basically, these three packages are my Gunpla purchases for the month of January. Well, the small one in the middle is not Gunpla, but you'll see when we open it up. So anyway, I'll start off with this one. This is from Hobby Link Japan. Got it shipped FedEx, which was really nice. It arrived really, really quickly. The only bad thing is I don't like how FedEx puts these like Ziploc bags on the front of their boxes, so I'm going to open it from the bottom instead of the top. Anyway, those of you who know me can probably guess what this is. Pull it out, and there we go. The brand new Master Grade Gundam Heavy Arms EW. Get rid of the shrink wrap. Take a look at this. And this, of course, is the final, well, not the final entry into the Gundam Wing Master Grade line, but the last of the uh, EW main suits. We've still got to do Nataku and Sandrock Kai and Heavy Arms Kai, but this will do it for the main five from the first half of the series. So this is going to be my next project after I finish Full Armor Unicorn, which I'm almost done with, by the way. In fact, I'll show you a little work in progress as soon as I get done unboxing these. Uh, I guess I'll do the small one next. Now this actually came from Best Buy. And this is the Mobile Suit Gundam Complete Collection number one. And this is Mobile Suit Gundam on DVD. Now, up until recently, this came out back in September, I'm just now buying it. But up until recently, uh, if you wanted Mobile Suit Gundam on DVD in North America, you had to hunt down the individual DVDs that were released back in like 2000 or 2001. Oops. I see some of the discs have come loose. <laughs> uh, you had to hunt down the original DVDs. But now that they've released this little box set, uh, we've got... Well, you only have to buy two boxes instead of, like, I think eight. The original one was six, eight, something like that. But either way, this is the first half of the series. The second uh, complete collection box set for Mobile Suit Gundam comes out in February, actually, just like a week from uh, tomorrow, I think, or a week from Wednesday. Either way, February 7th, uh, the second box that comes out, and I've already pre-ordered it. So I should be able to get some uh, good use out of this. And the last box is from Tatsuhabi. Go ahead and open this up. If I can get it open. Got like a little resealable thing on it, but there we go. Oh, newspaper. And we've got the brand new, well, kind of brand new, uh, high grade Universal Century Banshee and Destroy Mo. This is a couple weeks old now. And I originally ordered this from Hobby Link Japan but they uh, sold out before they got around to fulfilling my pre-order. And so I knew that Banshee probably wouldn't be restocked again until uh, like February. So I canceled my pre-order with HLJ and ordered it from Tatsuhabi. Uh, it just seemed quicker. And there you can see that nice gold color. Pretty much the same gold they used on the SD Sign Gokuden kits, but I'll get a better look at that whenever I get around the building. I'm thinking I may do this after Master Grade Heavy Arms. And we've got a little, oh, it's a little postcard. It's a postcard with a sketch from Mobile Suit Gundam. As you can see, you've got Gun Tank, Gun Cannon, and Gundam right there. So that's pretty nice. And then my invoice and Looks like just an advertisement for Gundam.info. So, 
that about does it for the unboxing, or unboxing, I got a package today portion of this video. Now let's take a look at this Unicorn Gundam really quick. Now the last time uh, I did a work in progress on this, or the only time I did a work in progress on this, uh, I basically just had the inner frame painted, but since then I've painted just about all of the outer armor. In fact, these are the only parts I have left to paint. And these are going to be gunmetal, and I'll be painting those this evening actually. And as you can see, I've already started applying some of the decals and stickers. And right here you can see Full Armor's box with lots and lots of stuff in it. These huge propellant tanks already got the decals on those. All of this white armor has already got the decals on it. And uh, basically for this stuff right here, all it needs is a uh, flat top coat and it's done. Uh, these parts right here, I'm actually going to do a little bit of masking and uh, paint some of these little details on here gray. And then, like I said, I'm going to paint these gunmetal and flat coat everything, and that'll be it. I'm really, really hoping that I can finish this kit in the next day or two, at which point I will promptly record and upload the review for you guys. So, I know it's been a lot longer than it should have been. Uh, that's mostly in part to me being lazy, but uh, part two is on its way very, very soon, so you guys can look forward to that. So, that about does it for this video, and with that, I'll see you guys next time.